Hello everyone and welcome back to my Let's Play Minecraft modded series. Sorry for the lack of Minecraft episodes of late. Uh, real life has been... pain. Today we're going to do something that we've been promising for a while and start work on our nuclear power facility. First, we need to get some stuff done here. We need to start an extractor making some coolant cells. I have this set up for compressors. I've been making a bunch of advanced alloys while I've been mining out the island and making the 50 subscriber special. So I just take this and it swallowed it and broke the stupid machine. Mm. Then the extractor goes here. I already have a few water cells from our miners. So I'll just put those in there. Need to make a few more cells. Let's see. To start with this many. And set aside four for uranium. Let's see if we can fix that sound. Now then, I need to put a cell in here from all in here. There. And I will... I need to go get my... Um... Drill from one of the miners. There we go. I'll put a transposer there later, since I don't need very many right now. Just get a mining drill out of here. And run back. I am done with this and this for now. And that too. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is make ourselves a template drawing machine and a builder. So I need Four, four diamond gears, two of those, two crafting tables, and a chest. Two, two diamond, gold, iron. Have some wood. Mm. Ink. Yellow, okay. So, just convert this to yellow dye. Make four. And more for the other things. Then make four gears. Two redstone. Torches. Two landmarks. Then we can upgrade these stone iron 
gold. And finally diamond. Now that we have those, we need to make those two crafting tables and a chest. And we also need how many of these? So we need one to craft it. One more. First one. Row. All set. And then four. So five, I think. Now then, I usually get this backwards. Oops. This goes here, that goes there. That backwards. Um, what was, it was this. Now that we got that going. I think that's everything we need for now. Stick this back in our chest. And... Alright, we need blocks to build with. We'll be needing those two for a little bit. So I've got all this smooth stone here. In preparation. And take one of these. Oops, wrong type. And this gives us reinforced stone, which while it's terribly ugly, <coughs> does have a high blast resistance. <clears throat> Down we go. Okay. To build this, we're going to want to come out three from each direction. It's one, two, three. Three. So right here. No, right here. And yeah, I did get this. So this is going to be our marker for our start. Then, not counting this block, we want a 5 by 5 square. 3, 4, 5. Bad block. 4. So this is our 5 by 5 square. Now that we want to go five more up from this so a total of six high I we might want to go seven high let's see Is that high enough? That one here. No, we need to go one more higher. Hmm. 
that ceiling is going to be in my way. And then you want to come off the middle here and put one more block out. And you don't need that block there. Then, got that. You want some stairs starting at this corner going up. So, get up here. Also, get that out. And you want a single stair here, going up, and then a two hole right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And a single block hole right there. And this is an individual reactor chamber. So now what we must do is grab these and start placing them. You want one here, one here, one here, and now I've got to get oops. Let's see how I can do this. Add it. That works, I suppose. Hmm. How did that happen? I did not know we could do that. Okay, we need to go to sleep because it's dark. And I'll break down and just build a dark pillar, I guess. There we go. Let's change this back to long range. So there's probably going to be some mobs out here. Okay, where it is? Put these back. And then come on. There we go. And if that if we could put it upside down like this, we'll just do it like that. We won't have to worry about that block in the way. Okay, now that we finally got that done, we need to take our template drawing machine, put it here, put in a blank template. We don't need power for this to work, but something's wrong. It didn't break the... oh crap. Hopefully, I think I just lost my template. But we'll have to make another one. Um, first, what I need to do is actually click on this. And then put down the template drawing machine. Now then I can put a blank template in there. And actually have a template worth using. Okay, template 18. Now that's done. I want to take the power part from here. Start running it this way. We need to go out. We want a two wide gap between these so we get out too that and place this 
and take your template 18, put it there. If this is facing the wrong way, you can turn it using the build craft wrench. Get this torch out of the way. Then we just fill this up with some reinforced stone and give it a little power. We need to go turn on our power valve or power plant though. Since our engines are off. I ran into a problem with this when that chest up there fills up. The quarry starts trying to quarry the deployers and tubes and everything. So I shut it off for now. I have way more wood than I need. Though I do need to reconfigure it to mine rubber or to harvest rubber trees. That's running. Going to need quite a bit more of those reinforced stone blocks. So let's start by making, see if we can fit two more. We also need another template since we lost that one. So template. Well, there. And now you can go back in here. You don't need to be carrying around you. Or you, I don't think. We probably can get by with just one stack of torches. Let's see if we have enough room. Probably not. Mm, thank you. And you. Now then the same thing. With the stone and the advanced alloy. You could, um, technically not use reinforced stone for these because they are relatively safe. But I'm going to choose for uniformity because the unsafe ones are going to use reinforced stone. Even if it is a bit of a waste of resources. Yeah, I should eat that. Uh, what's I saying? Alright. Uh, even if it's a bit of waste of resources, I do want to use it. For... For these, they will contain most of the blasts. If something goes, goes wrong, it will blow up. Since there should be another one above it, that should help block the blast. But it will come out these holes in the front and side. So it's still not a good idea to run these risky. So our template 18. The torch out of the way. And more power. Now then. I need to come up with something to do about the lighting. Because I'm going to have to remove most of my torches. I thought about using illuminators because I like the way they look when they're not connected to wire, but there's no way to charge them when they aren't connected to a wire directly, which is not a good thing. That's finished. Because if you run them manually, you have to charge them every two Minecraft days, which is really not that long. I would be constantly having to charge them, especially in a room this size. So 
again. Oops. I hope that's the right template. It is. And we got lucky. Everything was always on the right size. Side. I said size. Um, so what I'm building down here is our Mark II reactors. They are the ones that can run a full cycle without having to be turned off, but then they require a short break or maybe a long break, some kind of break before you can run them again safely. I think you could probably run these twice, maybe, but it would be close. I wouldn't want to do it more than once without cooling. Okay, we have the very first row done. So now what we want to do is set up another set of markers here, here. Here. And I guess back on the ceiling. There. And right there we go. So make sure that's the whole thing. Looks to be. Now then I can break this and replace it and put in a blank template so I've got all of those let's see what is next I could go ahead and be building the next set so I also want to two gap this way. So go out two over one like this. And there is that. And take this template. Put it in here. And give me some power. There's that much. Wait, we need to provide it with blocks. Hopefully that's enough. Then I won't be needing to put 18 anymore. And I won't be needing these blocks right there anymore either. So as I was saying, I really do need to do something about the lighting. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I'm open to ideas. I could use uh, red power 2 lighting, but I've already done that a lot, so I'm going to maybe do something different. Even though I'm going to have some indicator lights using red power 2 in here probably. And it sounds like it's raining. It also sounds like, or looks like it's dark. Hmm. So are you finished? Yes. Okay, that's all for this episode. I will see you next episode. And hopefully we'll finish this room and start on actually building the reactor. Thanks for watching. See you next time.